So not only can I just relax with a glass of wine, but I don't wake up feeling blah. Well, that might help. My motto in life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Glad you're tuning in today because this might be on my channel the most requested video on all the comments through all my videos. Everybody wants me to talk about wine. So tonight, I urge you to grab yourself a glass of red wine. I will tell you about my favorite wine and I will tell you about what works for me on a low carb diet. I'm not a doctor, it might not work for you. You might have to tailor it to your needs. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Kathleen Hart. This is the Low Piece of Heart channel where we do everything low carb. A little bit about me, I went on a low carb diet for the first time in 2013. I lost about 45 pounds and kept it off. Then I got pregnant with my son. I had him in March of 2018 and now I am restarting the low carb diet. So I am super excited. Can't wait to shed this baby weight. I'm taking you guys along with me. I will link down below my video where I'm getting started for the second time. And then you should definitely subscribe so that you can follow me on my journey. So let's sit back, keep calm, and drink wine. Okay, now I'm ready. Biggest question I get asked is, is wine okay on a low carb diet? My answer for you is, I don't know about you, but for me, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I love red wine. It's just in my DNA to love red wine. So I started off drinking Riesling, which is a very sweet white wine, and then my palate grew, and over time, I now like the driest red wine I can get my hands on. In the beginning of my wine drinking journey years ago, I was not into dry red wine. But if you're anything like me, your palate will adjust, and that is what you will end up liking. So. My favorite wine that I gravitate towards on a low-carb diet is got to be Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, that you can find anywhere. It's very traditional red wine. They also have, on the drier end, a Shiraz and then Merlot. Those are drier. Cabernet is like right in the middle. If you are starting on your journey, I would suggest trying a Cabernet. And if you can even find it, my absolute favorite is a red blend and that's literally what it's called so it's a blend usually of a couple different red wines and it just makes this magical magical wine experience i don't know how else to describe it so then you guys always ask me what are my favorite red wines i'm not very picky when it comes to wine lately though and i'll talk about that in a second i have been a little bit pickier but in general i really just like any brand I usually go for middle of the road if you're gonna buy a skinny bottle which is the 750 milliliter bottles that I usually go about between 10 and 15 dollars I don't like to go on the very cheap end because I don't know if you guys know but when you drink cheap wine you get a headache <laughs> it's bound to happen same thing when you drink cheap vodka it's the same thing it's just not as pure it's not as it's not as well made per se that's why it's cheaper so if you're going to go for a bottle of wine and you're going to enjoy a glass or two on a low carb diet, just like anything else, don't feel bad about paying a little bit more because I feel like the quality is definitely better when it comes to wine if you just go to the middle of the road. I like to spend, like I said, between 10 and $15 for a skinny bottle of red wine. That being said, I wanna tell you guys about my favorite wine of the moment. It's actually what I'm drinking right now, and it is called Our Daily Red. It's a red blend, and I'll show you guys the label. Why do I love this exact wine? Because it doesn't give me a hangover. It is free of preservatives, and it's organic, and it doesn't have any detectable sulfites. So this is a 2016 California red wine, and it says on the back, most wines contain added preservatives called sulfites. We don't add any preservatives to our daily red, so you can enjoy wine the way it was meant to be, pure and delicious. Fresh is best. This is vegan. It is also gluten-free. 
and it is organic usda organic so the reason why i like this and why i've been trying to drink um wines that don't have the sulfites in them is because i noticed a huge difference when i drink these wines versus when i drink what i normally drink which is any you know red wine that might be on the manager special or something where it might be like an 18 dollars bottle of wine but in the front of my liquor store they will mark all these wines down every week so you can go and try something that's more expensive but get it for maybe 10 dollars a bottle instead of 18. so i've been doing that a lot and so does jay jay loves red wine right there with me so we are a match made in heaven when it comes to red wine but I have been leaning towards this no sulfite wine. The no sulfites, I noticed a huge difference. And guys, I'm not drinking a ton. I'm having like a glass at night, <laughs> like one glass. But when you're taking care of a baby, when you have to be ready to go at any time, and you have to maybe wake up in the middle of the night, wake up at 2 a.m., wake up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., it just, you just never know. And if you didn't know, my baby, he is almost six months old. So we're kind of over the period of me waking up in the middle of the night. So I have gotten back to having a nice glass of wine at the end of the night to just wind down, relax, watch TV with Jay. It's just been so nice. And don't judge me. I'm going to do what I want to do. That being said, I really noticed a difference with the sulfite wine versus the no sulfite wine with the way that I feel in the morning. I don't feel that hangover feeling. And I was pregnant. And I wasn't drinking for a long time so when I have introduced wine back into my you know into my life I definitely felt it right away it was very strong to me and I almost like just stopped drinking it and then I went back and I was like you know what remember that our daily red wine and Jay was like I'm gonna get you a bottle because you deserve it you're a great mom I'm gonna get it for you so he got it for me and then the next morning I was like oh my gosh you know this is awesome this is exactly why I want to enjoy a nice like clean wine. So I highly recommend that wine if you guys are interested. Just so you guys know, the normal price for this wine in my liquor store, which is like the New Jersey, Pennsylvania area, is $11.99. I have found it cheaper in Jersey, of course. <laughs> why i don't know it's just how it is jersey they have it for like 9.99 so it's really not that bad if it's gonna make you feel better isn't that worth it right there so if you were gonna be picking out a red wine to be you know safe with on your low carb diet i would definitely stick to cabernet shiraz or merlot those are the two drier ones and they tend to have less carbs in them and they do have carbs like wine does have carbs it's gonna have sugar it's gonna have carbs i mean it's from grapes so you have to remember that however i honestly do think that in moderation it's not a terrible thing and it fits into my low carb diet and if you guys have read the 100 by george cruz which is the book that i highly recommend i will link it down below in case anybody wants to check it out it's the book that got me started on low carb and it's the book that gave me my meal plans and everything and it's just been such an awesome thing for starting low carb for somebody like me who had no idea where to start with low carb in 2013 i had no idea thank god i had this book because it taught me everything it helped me make this channel it gave me inspiration and it gave me the foundation for creating all my low carb recipes so i hope that answered your questions about red wine what wine i'm drinking why i'm drinking it if you have any further questions let me know if there's anything that i didn't answer definitely let me know down in the comments if you liked this video give me a thumbs up i was also considering doing an alcohol version of this for like alcohol that's not wine that you can drink and maybe some drink ideas let me know what you guys think and also make sure you're subscribed so you do not miss a new update with me on my low carb journey number two because i did just start that i am on day two right now so with all that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful evening and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys